All right, so this is my 3D printed jet boat. Um, it is roughly 40 inches long. Pretty decent, at least for it being on a 3D printer. Obviously, seam there, seam there. Um, but it is a jet drive, indeed. Um, I have a pump down there um, that feeds in through the bottom, moves itself all the way up to the motor, through the ESC, and back out the nozzle right here. I'm using a 50 millimeter 3D printed, um, just out of PLA too, so we'll see how it holds up. Um, impeller, uh, waterproof servo, nothing big deal. Uh, ZTW 200 amp ESC. This is the TP 40, 4070, and it's a 1260 kV motor, so it's rated for, I think it's 10S, I think. Um, but I'm only running it on 6S so that I can keep the RPM down to 25-ish or something like that. Um, I'm running uh, dual 6S graphene lipos. They are in, wired in parallel, obviously. Um, but everything is 3D printed. The motor mount down there is 3D printed. Battery trays are printed. The ESC mount, because this is not actually in all the way yet. So ESC tray is mounted and everything is designed by myself. Uh, even the little servo mount down there. Um, I do have a small leak. It's been sitting in the bathtub for about an hour, so it's not too bad. I just need to basically take some resin or something like that and uh, clean it up just to make sure I don't have any leaks. Um, but anyways, let me turn it on and uh, we'll see how much thrust she has, at least uh, a preliminary uh, test. So obviously everything's working. It is active cooling, so hopefully it'll cool better on the slow parts um, and help with heat, at least steady the heat. Um, steering works. Uh, thrust works fine. Let me see. Let me see what kind of power I can get real quick. Oh. And that's, I mean, that's maybe 10% throttle, holy cow. Whew, there was a touch of the throttle. Holy cow, yeah, this got some thrust. That was actually kind of hurt my shoulder. So, uh, yeah, I cannot wait until summertime because in Wisconsin, all the water is freaking frozen. So, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, it'll do good in open water.